Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. In this video, I'll be comparing different media discs like DVD versus Blu-ray and Blu-ray versus 4K or Ultra HD Blu-ray. Are there any differences? And if so, is it worth it? Let's talk about it right now. Alright, if you like me who love to watch movies and collect media discs like DVD, Blu-ray or Ultra HD Blu-ray, then you're probably wondering which one is the better choice. Well, it depends on your circumstances, but by default I would say go with Blu-ray. Now let me explain through each one of the media and why you may want it. Let's start with DVDs. Now DVD is widespread, right? It's available anywhere. You can actually find old movies that's not even on a uh, Blu-ray yet, okay? So this is why, you know, people still have their DVD, especially uh, older movies in the 80s, or maybe in the 70s where, you know, it's a uh, format from uh, film, eight millimeter to DVDs or whatever the format they convert into DVDs. And I don't think they uh, went further with that because the, um, companies decided not to burn into Blu-ray. So in that case, you only have only one choice, which is DVD. Now DVD is a 480p quality image and the compression on it, it's watchable, I would say. On a HD TV, like 720p TV, I think uh, DVD, if you're just watching for the story, I think it's pretty good. Like for example, if you're watching drama, Anything that is, you know, just a lot of talk, a lot of uh, um, emotion, no, not much action. I would say DVD is fine. You don't need to get Blu-ray because we're focusing on the store itself. And so if that's the case, and which is majority of us, then I think DVD is more than adequate. And I don't want to spend more than, you know, five, six bucks on a movie. You can get a used DVD probably around three or four bucks. Sometimes you'll see it for one or two bucks, right? Yeah, so DVD is found everywhere and you have access to it. So by default, I would say DVD, uh, if you have very rare movies that's not in Blu-ray, then keep them because you won't be able to uh, find Blu-ray version of it. Okay, so by default, if it's a rare movie, there's no Blu-ray, go for your DVD or keep it. Now Blu-ray is, I would say by default, what you want. If you have a movie that's in Blu-ray format, then go for, for it. Because if you compare the um, DVD, right, and I'm gonna show you the image right now, versus Blu-ray, you can see the difference. You can see that when you're watching uh, DVD and Blu-ray, in Blu-ray, you can actually see the film grain and the finer details, whereas in uh, DVD, you will see that there is, um, especially uh, image that's far away in the screen, and, uh, and there's a lot of fast moving uh, objects, you will see that those objects tend to be blurry or there's like squares and pixelation. So if you're not paying attention, then it's fine. But if you're a person who are, are into filmmaking, then you'll say, ooh, that's horrible. It looks uh, very compressed, right? Uh, so yeah, if you're, like I said, in de into details and you know you love watching films and how film is made, then I would say minimum requirement is Blu-ray, okay? But if you're just watching just for the story, go for DVD. Remember that DVD uh, is, uh, you know, the data, the size you can store it is up to 4.7 gigabytes. Now you can have a double layered. Um, in that case, you can go all, all, all the way to almost 10 gigabytes. Now for the Blu-ray, you can have 25 uh, gigabytes and there's a double layer or dual layer and that can increase it to almost 50 gigabytes. So a lot of information can be stored here, not just image, but also sound. So the sound quality on uh, Blu-ray and the image quality is very very good if you had to choose between you know the two choices i would say invest in blu-ray uh, the disc is also supposed to be more durable as well and so therefore you can keep it longer and the image is much better especially right now if you have a 4k tv 
you don't want to go settle for uh, lower quality. You want to go for higher quality. The question probably you might want to ask yourself, is it worth it to get a 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray versus a Blu-ray, right? Have a look at the image here that I'm showing. And I can tell you right now, it's hard to tell on my 4K uh, TV. Like I'm sitting close to it and I'm, you know, filming it, you know, I'm zooming in. And it's hard for me to tell the difference. In fact, on a uh, smaller TV, like I have a 55 inch uh, 4K TV, I couldn't really tell. And I find sometime that the uh, Ultra HD has too much detail because of the grain. Like for example, the uh, Blade Runner, the, the grain is a bit more heavier than the Blu-ray. Okay, so because it's going into uh, details, you can actually see more grains in it. Now the difference of course with uh, Ultra HD is that there is a feature called HDR. So if you have a TV or a projector that's calibrated for that, and you know, if you can calibrate properly, then definitely go for 4K. And if you can project it onto a uh, 100 inch screen or bigger, then definitely go with the Ultra HD uh, disc, especially older movies. Like for example, here I have Blade Runner, the classic movies. Um, when they uh, converted the film into the Ultra uh, HD Blu-ray, the image is really, really good. The grain looked natural, and if it's projected on a big screen, like a 100 inch screen or more, bigger, you can see that you're watching the classic film on a, almost like a simulated theater, okay? So I would say definitely worth it if you also have a surround sound that's built around your room. So good sounding system because usually these Ultra HD can put more data and so more sound quality or surround sound. There's some of them has what they call the um, Adobe Atmos audio system. I don't have that kind of technology so I don't really put this uh, Ultra HD movies to the best quality environment, right? So if you're you know, investing so much money on your 4K projector, you know, these projectors could be several thousand dollars, some of them up to $10,000. And then you have a sound system that, you know, again, several thousand dollars set up and you have a nice room that allow you to have a good control of the lighting system, a good control of the sound system, then Ultra HD is the way to go. Again, most of us, I would say only maybe several percent in the world uh, will actually enjoy the Ultra HD movie because if you don't have it properly set up, it's not going to be its optimal setup, right? So you want to be able to set it up such that, you know, you want to watch this movie in a way that it was supposed to be watched. So make sure that you have your TV, 4K TV, big, I would say, you know, 100 inch if possible, or a projector 100 inch, uh, set it up properly. Make sure the color is set up properly, HDR uh, set up properly in your uh, projector. Then also your sound is set up properly to enjoy the surround sound. Then this is the way to go. But most of us, probably not. We're not going to be enjoying that. So I would say of the three discs, I would say Blu-ray is the best choice. Blu-ray actually has the highest image quality compared to DVD. Although compared to 4K, it's slightly lower quality, but it's only if you really look into the finer detail and you have it, you know, the 4K uh, projector or TV set up properly, then maybe you can see that big difference. However, majority of us, I would say Blu-ray actually is good enough, definitely good enough. Even the quality of the sound, you know, they, they do have that 5.1 surround sound in most of the movies so you can watch that with a good sound system uh, they don't have the HDR but you know if you do have HDR type of TV or projector yeah then go for the 4k if you set it up properly that is but the blu-ray I think it's cheaper than ultra HD and a little bit more expensive uh, DVD but if you are going for the good storyline good image, good sound, and good enough price, then Blu-ray is it, okay? So I would say, if I were to collect uh, movies, the DVD, the 4K Ultra HD, or the Blu-ray standard, I would go for the standard. Now the only exception is that DVD, there's some movie that is not available in any of these two format. 
the Blu-ray or the Ultra HD. Okay, so yeah, then go for the DVD. Now, if you're a collector, sometime you may not find movie uh, in Blu-ray or in Ultra HD. You only have it available in DVDs. Then I would say, yeah, go for it because these classic movies, they don't make it anymore. They don't transfer into these high quality disc, then I would say stick with DVD. Um, hopefully that one day some of these companies will convert into you know, Blu-ray or Ultra HD. But if you have DVD and it's very rare, and it's actually might be worth quite a lot, especially if it's the only few left in the world. Okay, so yeah, so DVD, um, if it's a rare type of movie um, that's you know not being transferred into Blu-ray, then I would say keep that. The standard is always uh, Blu-ray, Ultra HD. If you have your whole movie uh, studio set up properly with 4K uh, projector or 4K large TV with HDR built in, uh, you have amazing surround sound, definitely this is the way to go. But majority of us, we want to stick with Blu-ray. All right, I hope you find this useful. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a little heart of appreciation. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.